So hi and welcome back yo Bitcoin day traders to the Bitcoin day trader channel and today I'm going to teach you guys how to brute force your blockchain.info wallet and we can brute force the first password and we can brute force the second password and we're going to do both and I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. And before you can do this, be sure to have installed BTC Recover the right way. So you can go back to another tutorial I made, which is called Installing BTC Recover for Beginners. It's about how to install BTC Recover the right way so that we can use it. It's important that we have Python 2.7 installed, not Python 2.4, not Python 3.6 or another version. BTC Recover is explicitly made for Python 2.7. We need a couple of things before we can do the brute force on BTC Recover. We need our wallet to be on our PC, so we have to download the wallet from blockchain.info. It is important that we know our wallet ID. Uh, this is the ID that you use to log in to blockchain.info. It looks something like this. As you see here on the screen, this is my wallet ID. I'm sharing it with you guys. You should never share this with someone else, but I'm doing this because this is an empty wallet and I've made this wallet especially for the purpose of this tutorial. Be sure to have your wallet ID and let's just be smart and we put it in a new notepad. I want to copy this, copy it and let's just paste it here because we need that later in this tutorial. Let me start by changing my security password to a better password. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna put Bitcoin Day Trader. Your password is not strong enough. Okay, let's call it Bitcoin Day Trader and add a couple of symbols. So I'm gonna put exclamation point at a hashtag and a dollar sign. So that's just shift one, two, three, four. Password has been changed. Okay, nice. Let me just write it down so we remember it. Bitcoin day trader, shift one, two, three, four. Just so that we know what our password is. And we're gonna put a password too. It's going to be a little bit different. Bitcoin day trader two, shift one, two, three, four. So we're gonna put that password on this second wallet password. So let's set it to Bitcoin day trader two, shift one, two, three, four. And let's set the password. Password has been set. Okay, so now we have a wallet that is double encrypted. Encrypted with the first password and with the second password. And we're gonna try to use BTC Recover to regain both of the passwords. We've set up our wallet on the blockchain.info and now we're gonna get the wallet from blockchain.info using BTC Recover. How can we download our wallet? Within the BTC Recover Master folder, there is an Extract Scripts folder. And within this Extract Scripts folder, you can find our download blockchain wallet.py. And we're gonna run this Python file using command. You have to open command. So again, go to start, type cmd, press command.exe here, and then you get your big black screen. And the first thing we have to do in command is get to this Extract Scripts folder within BTC Recover Master. And the way we do that is write down cd for change directory c double dot slash btc recover master slash extract dash scripts yes if you have written it the right way you will see something like this then you are in this folder to be sure type directory it's not necessary but as you see we are in the same folder very important to be in the right folder so what we want to do now is run this file here the download blockchain wallet.py and the way we do that is by starting up python c double dot slash python 27 slash python and we want python to run download dash blockchain dash wallet.py and if we press enter it's gonna run this script and it's gonna ask us for our wallet ID that's the wallet that we want to download so please enter your wallet ID you see here we have copied our wallet ID to this notepad file just copy it press ctrl C to copy you can't press ctrl V here in command you have to use your right mouse button right mouse button paste press enter and now it's asking authorization. So you probably have authorization and now you see it's waiting for authorization. So before we can do this, we have to authorize that we want this to happen. You will receive an email from blockchain and it will look something like this. And this email says, are you sure are you the one that, that, that asked for this wallet download? And you'll be like, yes, it was me. I'm authorizing this login. So you press it, you get another warning. And as you see here, it says, Oh, we want to download the file. Are you sure? Is it you? You don't want someone else to download it. So you press accept. Once you have pressed accept, here in command, it will get authorized. Ah, oh, you see? It has been authorized. Wallet file is saved as wallet.aes. 
JSON. What happened now is you see in this folder, this extract scripts folder, that it saved the wallet.ais. So this is our blockchain wallet. And we're gonna use this file to brute force the first and second password. What we can do now is copy or just move it to the BTC recovery master folder. So be sure that it is in the master folder here. And before we're gonna use BTC recover, I wanna teach you guys something. We gotta make a token. A token is a file which has several parts that you can remember of your password. We're gonna use a automatic token file. As you see here in the screen, BTC recover token auto.txt. It's probably not yet in your BTC recover master folder. So what you can do is create a new notepad and save it with exactly this name. It should not be different. If you use this name, we don't have to load our token in. It would just automatically load this token. So it saves us a little bit of action in command prompt. You have a notepad and you save it as btc recover token.txt so it has to have this name and then it's automatically being loaded. And I wanted to show you something about the token file. This is some information I've made. As you see this is a token file and everything after the hashtag sign is always a comment except for when there is a space in front of the hashtag. So then it's just the hashtag. I wrote these comments to show you guys what they actually mean. For instance, I say here space plus hashtag equals the hashtag sign. A percentage and an S means the dollar sign. If you use a dollar sign, BTC Recover thinks that that part of the token should be at the end of the password. It is a advice for the program and because it is an advice, if you want to use the dollar sign as a dollar sign, you have to write it down a little bit different. As you see here, this is the way you should write the tokens. You know, shift one is just normal, shift two is also normal, but the third one, the hashtag needs to be written down like this. The dollar sign, so that's shift four, is that. If you want to use percentage, it has to be like that, because percentage means a wildcard, and wildcard S is the dollar sign, wildcard percentage is the percent sign. And so this is the way to write any of the first eight, shift one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight sign. What I did here in our situation is I wrote down plus, and I don't know what this sign is. Let's call it roof sign. I don't know, I call it a roof. You know, a little roofy triangle, I don't know. But in the token, when you use the plus sign, this means that it's only going to try password combinations with the following in it. It's never gonna make a combination of the things down here without the word password. And the roof sign in front of a word means only try passwords with the following in the front of the password. What, what do we remember of our password? We knew that there was Bitcoin Day Trader in our password. So Bitcoin day trader is a part of it and we know that there are four of these signs so this would be a token that will be able to brute force the first password of our wallet but not the second one we know that the second password has a number two in it we do not have a number two in this token so it won't be able to brute force the second password but First, let's try the first one. So what we do is after we have saved our token file, so save your uh, BTC recover dash token dash, no, it's not a dash, is it a dash? I don't know. But save it this way, this name. And be sure that that file is saved in the BTC recover master folder here. We are still in command in this directory, the extract scripts directory, this folder here. And we want to be in this directory. So what we can do is get a directory back. And if we want to go a directory back, we say change directory double dot. And as you see now, we're now in BTC Recover Master directory. And now we want to run our BTC Recover.py. So if we want to do that, we're going to write c double dot python 2 7 slash python BTC Recover.py. Now let's just show us our token. So list pass for list our passwords. And now it's going to create what's going on? Starting token online and character with code point. Uh, uh, uh. What's going on? What's in my token? Okay, save as. Oh, it's a UTF-8 file. So I've saved this file as a UTF-8 file encoding. If we use a UTF-8, as you see here, we need to have that in the option. So let's add UTF-8. Okay, so it's working. And as you see, let me just stop it. 
It's trying all kinds of combinations. And in my token, I told it that I wanted to have Bitcoin Day Trader at the beginning and only try it. So plus, only try the following. And after Bitcoin Day Trader, it's gonna use all these combinations down here. So this was just to list the passwords and to try out if the token is working. And the token is working, as you can see. So what we can do now is run this token on our wallet file, on our wallet.aes.json. So what we do now is instead of listing our passwords, so delete list passwords, we're going to use a wallet, wallet.aes.json. Press enter and it's going to run using four worker threads and he found it. Password is found. Bitcoin Day Trader, it's just a 64 try. I made it pretty easy for this program to, to try it. So we know our first password. That's the login password of blockchain.info. This is the way to brute force your first password of the blockchain. Right now we're gonna try and do the second password because some people lost their second password and not their first password of blockchain.info wallets. The technique is almost the same. So what we do now is instead of saying the first password, we need to add a argument called blockchain second pass. So blockchain second pass. Pass. So now we're telling BTC Recover not to try the first password but the second password. But you need the first password to try out the second password. Let me adjust my screen a little bit. Press enter. And now as you see it's asking us to please enter the blockchain wallet main password. So that's this password that's on top of it. The first password. So that will be Bitcoin Day Trader Shift 1234. So now it's gonna try it. But I told you guys already that it won't be able to find it because our token does not have the number two in it or just any digit at all. So we are already aware of the fact that it won't find it. If we want it to actually find it, we need to add something to our token. If you check this line here that I've written down, if we want any digit to be used, we have to add the wildcard sign, that's the percentage sign, and the D for digit. And let's just add it after the fourth. So we want a digit, digit. So now we know that this digit is gonna be a zero, a one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or a zero. It's gonna try them all. And let's save this file. Press Ctrl S to save it. Okay, and as you see, password search is exhausted. That means it couldn't find the password. But now we have updated our token file and we added a digit. So it's gonna try the same as above here, the same as in here, but now with numbers in it. If we wanna check what it's going to do, press arrow up to have older commands and if we wait a second as you see now I pressed ctrl c to stop that's a thing in command press ctrl c to stop any action and as you see here it's trying it with a digit in front of it you see one two three four five seven eight nine so as you see now it's probably gonna brute force it so we need the command again to brute force the second pass so again we need to write down our wallet wallet a a e s the json utf8 because our text file is utf8 encoded that's the way i have saved it and i did that for special characters blockchain second pass is on so again it's going to ask us for our first blockchain wallet password and that's bit Bitcoin day trader shift one two three four and press enter and now it's gonna try and find our second password oh there are so many more possibilities oh no oh why did I do this oh no I don't know I hope it's gonna find it quick I don't know if I have the time to do this oh <laughs> he did it nice we found the second password first password and the second password as you see we did it again we have another Password brute force. <laughs> this is the way that I brute force a blockchain.info wallet. It gave us our first password and it gave us our second password this way. It is important that you create a good token file. As you see here, it could get out of hand pretty fast. But let me just run it again, but then not on the second password, but on the first password. And let's do that without that digit. So let me just remove this one, just save it. And let me just run it now. And you see the difference? This was with a digit. And with that extra digit, it had 900,020, no, 900,000, wow, it's so hard to speak English. 900, 
72,000 tries with that extra digit and without that extra digit it had only 13,000 tries so that one digit made it exponentially harder for the computer so it is very important that you try to make your token file as good as possible and uh, try to make it in a way that it shrinks the amounts of tries 1 million it's almost 1 million it takes my computer one hour to try all the million different passwords so it is very important that you create a good token file the best token file you can create for your situation it is very hard to brute force your wallet without any information in the token file because if you want to try every single combination possible with the characters it's gonna last your computer years to, to, to do this and it's gonna be a terrible terrible thing for your computer to even try to brute force this without any information with the information that we had we made it a lot simpler for our computer so I hope that this video helps you guys out and that you're able to run BTC Recover on your blockchain.info wallet yourself and that you can regain your access to your wallet. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please leave a like. It would be awesome to let me know that you enjoyed this tutorial. So if you guys are new to my channel, it would be an honor if you guys would subscribe to my channel. I make these videos every once in a while and every time that I get more questions from you guys and in different situations, you guys are forcing me to create new tutorials in newer situations I'm very thankful that you guys are replying to my videos and that you answer your questions in the comments down below and that some of you even email me with specific questions they ask me for guidance and I'm very honored by that I really enjoy it yeah I want to thank you guys a lot for watching my videos I hope you guys can brute force your wallets now and that you regain the access to your wallets and if you did let me know in the comments below and as always thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time Woo! Yeah, we did it. Woo. I always dance, man. I don't know what it is, but I, I get very happy when we brute force the wallets. I feel like we've accomplished something today. Especially in, in, in this beginning era of Bitcoin, where lots of people start using Bitcoin and losing their passwords or forget to back up the right way. I'm, I'm, I want to help you guys out. And I hope that by making these videos that I'm actually doing that.